What a dooski guys, it's Feral34 back with another episode of Super Science. Suicide Squad makes its way into theaters next week and to go with that, over here on Super Science we thought why not dive into one of the strangest members of the team. Killer Croc aka Waylon Jones is depicted as having a rare genetic condition that gives him a crocodilian appearance however the extent of the resemblance to a crocodile varies between merely a large man with a hardened skin and essentially a literal giant humanoid crocodile. The character is often also portrayed as having cannibalistic tendencies as well. Over time the character's appearance and personality have both become increasingly bestial. In the comics, it's explained that his disease has slowly robbed him of any identifiable human traits. Alright, let's get into the super science. To be specific, this disease that Killer Croc has that's caused this transformation is known as atavism. Atavism is known to be described as a tendency to revert to ancestral type, in this case, reptiles. Atavism is an evolutionary throwback, such as traits reappearing which had disappeared generations before. As observed in some human babies, they've been born with bestial tails called coccygeal process, coccygeal projection, and caudial appendage. To briefly go into some baby talk, as the embryo develops into a fetus, the tail is absorbed by the growing body. Infrequently, a child is born with what is known as a soft tail, which contains no vertebrae but only blood vessels, muscles, and nerves. This is regarded as an abnormality rather than a vestral true tail, even when such an appendage is located where the tail would be expected. Alright, now back to the disease. Atavism can actually be seen in humans for people who possess things such as large teeth, like some other primates. Picturing that disease with the circumstances of Croc's upbringing that involve being a circus act, bullying, and strength training, Croc seems a little more obtainable. However, the tricky part now is explaining his appearance. Although the comics say that atavism is very likely the key to the dry scaly appearance, it is also described as possibly being eptermoilitic hyperkeratosis or EH for short which is a very rare skin disease affecting one in every 250,000 people. The appearance is described with general redness with the skin being thick and generally dark as well as scales that tend to form parallel rows of spines or ridges especially near large joints. However, unlike Whalen, the skin is fragile which is opposite to our killer croc who can deflect bullets. To summarize, Killer Croc is a one-of-a-kind hybrid of atavism and EH. If you'd like to see a pretty realistic take on the character, a good read recommendation is Joker by Brian Azrilio and Batman Earth 1 Volume 2, which both feature the character in a very realistic and human presence. And of course guys, don't forget Suicide Squad, he'll be in that coming out next week, August 5th. I already have my tickets for the late night early screening on August 4th. I'm ending off my birthday with Suicide Squad. Please be good. And that is the super science behind Killer Croc, if he could really exist. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the Hyper Network if you have not already. Also, feel free to check out my channel in the links down below. I'm your host, Failwell34. This is Super Science, and you just got educated. I'll see you next week.